We got 20 minutes with Mayor Johnson this morning to talk about everything from the migrant crisis in DNC to crime and ending shot spotter. He highlighted his first year achievements and how he's delivering on his progressive promises. Every time I come in here, I take a moment just to breathe. In the ceremonial room of his fifth floor office in City Hall, the mayor reflected on his accomplishments. I'm very pleased of, of how we've gotten out the gates thus far. What do you think you could have done better over the course of this last year? The mayor had few misgivings, but like many mayors before him, said his toughest challenges are what he inherited. I wish that we didn't have so many years of, of neglect and disinvestment. There are things that I want to move faster. Right. You were elected to fix those things, too, by yeah, the way, all of them. Right. <laughs> you know, so I really wish that, you know, the, the hole was not as deep. Front and center has been the migrant crisis. The mayor now confident it's under control. No other city in America has been able to handle this crisis as well as we have. If there's someone out there that's doing it better than Chicago, I would like to know because we certainly will take notes. What do you do if there is a flood of buses full of migrants? that show up during the DNC. We're preparing for it. We have now um, structured our uh, migrant um, temporary shelters to be able to manage this crisis a little better. The Democratic National Convention is part of Chicago's busy summer, also when crime is historically at its worst. Since I've been in office, homicides and shootings continue to go down. Vehicular carjackings has gone down. But an ABC7 data analysis finds robberies in the last 12 months are up compared to the last three years. Look, there's still a lot of work to be done. Don't, you know, misunderstand me. He campaigned on a promise to end ShotSpotter, the gunshot detection system that alerts police to shootings in the city. You have been adamant about ending ShotSpotter. Why, why is that? Well, because it, it didn't work. Yeah. You know, look, it, we're was it good enough though to keep through the DNC? Well, it was a part of my approach to be collaborative. I work with the, the, the corporation to phase it out so that there's a deeper opportunity to give them the chance to provide more substantive research of its benefit. The police superintendent and police union insist it's a valuable tool. Do you believe the police officers of this city respect you? Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely, and I respect them. Some officers feel like you don't have their backs. So what would be your message to those officers? I'm grateful to have the support of the police department and my entire administration support the women and men who show up every single day risking their lives on behalf of the people of Chicago. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.